I'm Jamie from Elon Wireless and today we're going to be looking at how to uh, weatherproof an outdoor radio. So as you can see we have our antenna already mounted up as well as our radio. Uh, in this example we're going to be using a SISO antenna so there's only one RF connection to the radio and this uh, which is connected to port B or vertical and the secondary port port H has been terminated with a 50 ohm terminator. That's very important. Now as you can see the RF cable coming down from the antenna has been cable tied to the to the pole. This allows for strain relief going into the radio so it's not as as hard on the radio connection. As well we've uh, created a loop that loops down away from the radio so this allows all the water to run down and drip from this point as opposed to going straight into the radio. So now that we've got that done we're going to take a weatherproofing kit. This is available for purchase as a common weatherproofing uh, kit. It contains, we open it up, some thick black rubberized tape or electrical tape, as well as some weatherproofing rubber pipe. And we'll see, uh, see this a little bit closer as, uh, as we actually apply it to the unit. So we're going to start with our electrical tape. But as we put it on, we're going to start on the outside. And I'll explain why in a minute. And then we begin to roll it up towards the radio. And I can see already that I'm going to run out, so I'm going to have to get a little bit more. Just overlap a little bit. Again, we're going towards the radio and when you get closer you want to actually overlap onto the radio itself. This part is where it gets a little bit trickier. There we go. So the reason we did it from the outside is it allows the overlapping ridges to be facing away from the radio instead of toward it. So the water will tend to run this way instead and we want to overlap onto the radio to make sure that the connector is entirely encased. Now we'll do the same for the one with the actual RF cable and we're going to start back here where it actually starts to bend down away from the radio to make sure the entire thing is encased and the water has a good chance to come down here instead of leaking back towards the radio. So I'm here we go continue to wrap around. Better to have too much than not enough. So again we get that overlap all the way around the connector right onto the radio itself. So now both Sorry. So now that we've got everything wrapped up we're going to take our rubber. We're going to unwrap a bit. Don't need to do too much just now. To start with we'll be overlapping it. So we want to rip off a bit. And we'll start with the other one. So we've got more than enough for this connection. So we're just going to wrap it around. And again, you want to make sure that it's overlapping onto the radio. It's very tacky and very gooey, as you can see. And you're going to make sure it's completely sealed. There's no gaps at all. And you're going to press all the way around it. And you can see it's starting to meld, fuse to itself, right? and to the radio as well. There you go. So now that one's done this time, is it, because as you can see, it's it tends to stick. So I'll make sure I get my overlap on the radio. And come up all the way around. sure it's all pressed together nicely. There's no gaps. Nice and firm. And there we have it. Our two RF connectors are properly weatherproof. Now, 
Okay, so now that we have our two RF connectors uh, properly weatherproof, we're going to take care of the Ethernet cable. So once again, you can see that it has been uh, cable tied to the post. This allows for strain relief again on the connector so there's not too much weight. And as you see when we plug it in, there'll be the same kind of drip we had on the RF cable coming down away from the radio to drip from where it loops. But before we plug in our Ethernet cable, uh, with every product you get, you also get this weatherproof connector kit. So we'll have to install that first. So we'll empty the contents. This little washer will go onto this side of the weatherproof connector. You notice the fingers are over here. It's on the opposite side of the nut. We'll see how that comes into play in just a moment. Now first you have the round edge. We're going to put that over the Ethernet connector onto the cable. Then you're going to have this rubber grommet. It's going to go round edge toward the nut that we just put on, flat edge toward the end of the cable, like so. Then we are going to put on this last piece. It's going to go with the fingers toward the grommet and the nut that was put on previously. Now that's all in place. We're going to actually plug in the Ethernet connector. I'm going to hear a good satisfying click and give it a slight tug to make sure it's actually engaged uh, so you don't have to climb way up here again after the fact. So now we want to take this rubber bolt or this uh, plastic bolt and begin to screw it in. You see the, uh, the washer comes up flat against the radio causing uh, a weatherproof seal. And finger that tight as tight as you can. Then we're going to slide the grommet up and it's a good idea to kind of lift your ethernet cable a bit and start your rubber grommet inside the fingers like so. Lastly we're going to bring up our, our last nut and begin to screw that onto the weatherproof connector. Again, we'll make it as tight as we can with our fingers. So we have a weatherproof connection here and here. If that's not quite enough, we're going to weatherproof it completely as we did the RF connectors. So we start with our tape. In this case, because of the other connections, smaller pieces is going to be easier to manage. So we're going to start down here on the cable and begin wrapping up. All right, lots of tape on that connection. Action. So now that we have our ethernet uh, cable fully taped, we're gonna take another bit of uh, rubber, tear it off here, because as you can see, it very much wants to catch on to the one above it. Again, you want to make sure you're overlapped onto the radio itself. And make sure it comes down onto the cable. And press firmly in all around, making sure there are no gaps and it's completely sealed. And there we have it. So once we have uh, done all our connections uh, like this and it's been done properly, the radio is now IP67 compliant, so completely weatherproof. Uh, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact our tech support group by emailing techsupport at eon.com. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and whatever you do, please be safe.